ideas. Simple as that. Both of 
What drove me was the fear of not making it. Because my whole fear as a kid was to, to, to uh, was being homeless. You know, and you know, I've seen homeless people, I've worked with homeless people, I've seen homeless people in my neighborhood. My whole fear is not to be homeless. So that drove me, you know, not not looking at the NBA, not looking, I'm, I'm looking at being successful, not necessarily aware of what what avenue I, I would use to get there. You know, it's a thing that drives me, it's a thing that I say, if you get to defeat the enemy within, the enemy outside stands no chance. And that enemy within is you telling you, I can't make it. And to get out this question very quickly, I had a coach in Europe that said, that pretty much said the same thing, that whatever, something about me not going hard, whatever, you know what I did? I tossed him the ball and told him, check up. Mm. Just kill this kid. <laughs> There's a whole lot of sports that people need that one, you know what I mean? I've been talking to a lot of these coaches out here coaching these kids. And these, uh, and these sports dads in here screaming on their kids that they not perform how you want to. And they might make you check up in about two or three years. Yeah, get you out of here. You know? All right, all right, man. Now, here you are. You, you, you're this great high school athlete, right? And now you're going to play Division One basketball at, at Old Main. Right. So, almost the same question we posed to Lamont. You get on, you get on campus. Now you're you you suiting up for your, your first practice and whatnot. What what's your mentality when you walk in? You know, ODU has this huge tradition. You know, they've been they've been balling out forever. So now you on you on the court, and now you ready you ready to put that work in. So what what, what was your mentality when you first got to ODU? Uh, I had fucked up mentality. My mentality was like I'm from Trenton, New Jersey. I'm from I'm from the hood, and nobody in here could be me. I could be you, 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 and you. So at that time, you got like all the greats there, Adrian Goodson, Medina Dixon. These are all the people that graduated, or about to graduate, or has graduated, that always came back to play. And it was almost like drumline. Like they would like sit and watch the new people and say, okay, did she got it? Did she got it? And then it would pair you up with somebody, everybody to match up with somebody, and then roll the ball and say, you play her. So for me, being a, having that tough mentality was good, but not everybody's going to come in with that. I didn't have that support. My parents were very old. My dad was 65 now. So he wasn't out there playing hoops for me. I didn't have a basketball growing up. My basketball was a tennis ball. My hoop was a, a strip of metal on the back of the garage. <laughs> Every time I heard it go team when I hit it, that was too no hard. <laughs> so, I mean, I appreciate everything that came along with that. Um, so it, it, it brings me up to the question. So now we have a, a difference in generations, right? Mm -hmm. And um, now it's the um, the social media buzz, and um, it's what somebody can do individualistic. You know, I got highlight tapes. You know, uh, me crossing somebody over, and I'm getting all this all this buzz. And uh, sometimes you feel like uh, you know the work is the work doesn't have. Some kids feel like the work doesn't have to get put in. You know, and all I have to do is worry about just building my next highlight over, you know what I mean, over the next one. And Here, here's what we deal with today. As college, as, as high school coaches, which, you know, I coach at Mitchell High School, and it, it, it started to creep over to the, the college arena, is, is what we were talking about earlier. It's entitlement versus deservedness. Yeah. And so just because I put on a jersey, I'm thinking I'm, I'm entitled to these minutes. And when you don't get it, and you don't you don't earn it, and what happens is they want to switch schools. Uh, but the girls, if the, the girls had that same type of entitlement, and like you were just speaking on the guys, if the girls had the same type of entitlement, you know, uh, you know, playing up there, or, or, or you went out to recruit or whatever, and they had that same entitlement mentality. Yeah, they did. I, I felt like um, my thing is like I don't think you should get a practice jersey. You know what I mean? I don't think. I mean like. Except for the ones that's, that's on the team, you, you prove yourself. But the ones coming in, I don't think you should get the practice. You should get the color. <laughs> right. But I don't think you should get the jersey. Great. Because I think, like, <laughs> because I think they, they, did, they were excited. They felt like, um, oh, I could, I could do more if she, she give me more, more time. I said, you got a minute. Let me run you up and down for a minute. And see how long is a minute. You could do a lot in a minute. You know? But it's the way you're thinking about it. So they just they come from high school and it was the best on the team, and then they get to UIC and they think that okay, I started there, I should start here, or I'm a sophomore, she's a freshman, 
she should play on it. But Coach Miller, who played at Old Dominion, she put freshmen on the floor. If that freshman beat you out that spot, then that's, that's your spot. Right? But they definitely felt like, like you said, they all felt like they, they deserved to play, they deserved this, they deserved that. And they get so pampered. You don't have to worry about them. You get money, you get shoes, you get all the treatment, the best treatment. And I'm like, you got the gym 24 hours a day. You walk five, ten steps you're in the gym. And you tell me I could look down over there and don't see nobody in the gym? But then you come to practice and you want to shoot threes? Uh, you know, it's a disconnect. Like, I mean, like, don't think you're just going to continue to play off your talent. 